I am Iron Man. You think you're the only superhero in the world? Mr. Stark, you become part of a bigger universe. You just don't know it yet. Who the hell are you? Nick Fury, director of S.H.I.E.L.D. These words mouthed by Nick Fury at the end of 2008's Iron Man made it clear that Marvel Cinematic Universe is not all about Tony Stark, it's a vast world far beyond our imagination. Things started rolling in the MCU in 2008 with Iron Man, 26 movies down, it's still going strong. I am Iron Man. Keep watching and take a look at the whole Marvel saga. The Marvel Cinematic Universe Phase 1 introduced the viewers to the The Avengers Marvel superhero team. I don't play well with others. Big man in a suit of armor. Take that away, what are you? A uh, genius, billionaire, playboy, philanthropist. <laughs> Most importantly, this phase for the first time introduced us to the idea of how a series of film franchises could exist in the same world, connected to each other, and crossover at key moments. Phase 1 gave the core heroes of the group known as the Avengers, characters adapted from the world-famous Marvel comics. The list includes Tony Stark's Iron Man, Chris Evans' Captain America, Black Widow, Hulk, Hawkeye and Nick Fury and organizations such as S.H.I.E.L.D. and HYDRA. Marvel gave out six movies in the first slot. Starting from 2008 Iron Man to introducing all of them to each other in the last movie of Phase 1 in 2012, The Avengers. This phase was all about origin stories and the crossover to The Avengers. Many of the films in the first part focus on the Tesseract, which is a cube that contains the Space Stone, one of the six Infinity Stones. The final film, The Avengers, shows the villain Loki allying to steal the Tesseract and conquer Earth, leading to the formation of the Avengers. It was discovered that Thanos is behind the attack on Earth. In Phase 2, Marvel Cinematic Universe took the game to a whole new level. Kicked off with everyone's favorite Tony Stark third movie in the franchise, Iron Man 3 in 2013 and concluded in 2015 with the release of Ant-Man. Phase 2 of MCU and the second part of the Infinity Saga also introduces us to more heroes of the franchise, including Falcon, Quicksilver, Scarlet Witch, Vision, Ant-Man, Wasp, and the Guardians of the Galaxy, consisting of Star-Lord, Gamora, Drax the Destroyer, Rocket Raccoon and Groot, who have teamed together to protect the galaxy from planetary threats. In this phase, there are some inevitably high points and some not-so-attractive points. But in simple language Phase 2 really set the franchise on the road to Infinity War, revealing more Infinity Stones and introducing us to the MCU's bad guy, Thanos. We're in the endgame now. The ending for the new beginning, or we can say the last phase, to end all the phases. The longest phase of Marvel Cinematic Universe started from the year 2016 with the fight between Iron Man and Captain America and moved further with adding new heroes to the team. This phase introduced the world to Doctor Strange, Black Panther, the first black superhero to get his own movie in the MCU, and his Wakanda world, Captain Marvel, who brings back Iron Man from space in Endgame and of course Tom Holland's Spider-Man. After Thanos wiped out half of all life in the universe at the end of Avengers Infinity War, the superheroes come together for the battle in Endgame, for the sake of the universe, and, finally, our favorite heroes Iron Man, Black Widow, Chris Evans and others waved by to their millions of fans. Hence, Phase 3 concluded the Infinity Saga, the first grand chapter of the MCU. MCU Phase 4 is full of diversity. We have the first Asian superhero, the first LGBTQ plus character, many characters of color, who will be introduced as superheroes and the other existing Avengers will get their own projects. After many Avengers left, MCU continues the story of the grand universe again with some old and new heroes. In addition to films, this phase will feature limited series that will be available exclusively on Disney Plus, the company's streaming service. This phase began with the series WandaVision and moved to their first Phase 4 movie. Black Widow, the first superhero standalone film, which takes place in the events between Captain America Civil War and Avengers Infinity War. From Eternals, Shang-Chi, She-Hulk, and Lady Thor, MCU Phase 4 will introduce a lot of new Marvel heroes and villains to the universe and there will be some major characters that will greatly impact and influence the MCU Phase 4 and beyond. 
Due to the pandemic-induced delays in the release of projects, many changes in the lineup has taken place. Big projects have been announced, but as Kevin Feige confirmed the timeline for Phase 4, which has since been shifted slightly when Phase 5 begins, 